What's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. Today is a great day. If you caught the live stream yesterday, there was a lot of excitement. Um, the total altcoin market cap has broken through all Fibonacci retracement levels. So has the total market cap of all of crypto. So we'll be peeking around at a lot of different charts today. We'll be looking, of course, right here at the Bitcoin price chart with the Bitcoin price being above $50,000 right now. We, of course, will peek over there at the XRP price chart different altcoins and just kind of take a peek at what's going on with the market it's been a long journey for us to get to where we're at right now so we'll kind of take a bigger assessment of what things are looking like at this exact moment obviously bitcoin right here just above fifty thousand dollars as i'm recording will it bounce around maybe who knows but it's 50 grand right now right one thing that we've been looking at over the last several months is comparing what these types of corrections look like for bitcoin with an abc correction coming in right in here with a 702 fibonacci retracement that takes it right on plunging down into the sea leg and then how long it takes for it to really kind of recover and as we can see based on this let me shift this up a little bit you can see the structures of these right in here how incredibly similar they've been if you've been watching the channel obviously you know this right at this point but here we are right now hanging out in these retracement levels just like we were during our last correction that took place back in here back in august september october and then november was the breakout in the go and well we're still just kind of hanging out here in these retracement levels so i'll take most of this off of the screen for us right now we can see that for bitcoin still not through all the retracements and really the big mamma jamma for bitcoin for me is going to be right there at about fifty four thousand dollars in the 2017 bull run when the bubble popped for bitcoin Bitcoin and it went back into a retracement, what we saw was the altcoin market really surge as Bitcoin went back into the 702 Fibonacci retracement. So it's one of those things I'm keeping an eye on. However, I've been very clear on what my opinion has been for Bitcoin for the last several months and that it's had, when we look at the inverse perspective of Bitcoin, so when I flip the chart of Bitcoin upside down, I see a very clear structure that I typically follow and that we have seen that this wave had rolled back up to wave four within wave five for wave Wave six, it did hold at that price level. And as we can see, it, you know, I'll get this stuff off this from last time I talked about it, is that the price has fallen down as expected. And that if it sets a new low right here, and if you don't understand what I'm saying, we can look over here on this side. When the price goes down on the inverse chart, that actually means the price is going up in USD value. So I'm still sticking with this perspective that this is what is happening here in the cryptocurrency market. However, of course, I can't forget about this because that's what happened back in here is that when the bubble did pop for Bitcoin, it did retrace back to the 702 Fibonacci retracement. And during that time period, right in there was when the altcoins went absolutely ham during that time. And then the bull run was over. I don't think that's what's happening right in here, but I'm aware of it and I'm not going to forget that. I still stick with my original set assessment of what I think is happening in the market, not financial advice, but what I think is happening is that the price will get up to somewhere around seventy-two to $85,000. And so for me, what does that say? It says that the real excitement in this market is going to be the altcoins and the altcoin market, which is what we've expected here, that there wouldn't be too much excitement over there in Bitcoin from a percentage perspective, but that would be the altcoins that would be the really big showstopper. And as we could see yesterday during the live stream, we talked about it, just kind of had this sitting right here on the screen the whole time that we have gotten through all retracement levels over here in the altcoin market. So this is the total altcoin market cap and that the total market cap has had its own specific structure here for the altcoin market cap and that it did break into the all-time high with a double tap bull flag breakout back test into the bull flag v bottom out <laughs> which if you're hearing that for the very first time, <laughs> which most of you are not hearing that for the very first time, you're probably like, whatever that is, dude. Uh, but I have seen this happen before several times. And hallelujah, that appears to be what has been happening here in the altcoin market. One of the exciting things that happened last night was that Cardano did break above $3. So of our leader group that we've been following, which has been Solana, Luna, and Cardano, all three of them have now broken into new highs from that were set back there on August 23rd, with Cardano sitting at $3.04 right now as I'm recording. As I always talk about, this market is very much of a rotating market, so I don't expect them to be the leaders for forever. If anything, the end is closer for those, in my opinion, than just the beginning. And for me, the excitement that I'm looking for is a rotation into a lot of other coins. And a good example of that right now has been IOTA, which has been lagging. But as you can see today, it's having a 26% nearly straight line up. 
And of course, a lot of the interest of my audience and a lot of the interest of myself, because XRP is my largest holding that I have in the cryptocurrency market, is what's going to happen here? Clearly, it's still stuck underneath all of the retracement levels at this point, still stuck underneath the retracement level of that most recent 702 hit that it had. So we haven't had any breakouts yet, but I'm looking optimistic because of what's happening over there in the total altcoin market cap chart and what's happening with our leaders. I'm still looking for kind of that same thing that happens where the leaders really take off and get moving really fast. Then suddenly they hit their tops and boom, the rest of the market starts to go. That's really the best guess that I can make for when something is going to happen with XRP, when there becomes this moment of rotation. Of course, if some type of news gets dropped just so perfectly, well then, hey, great, like XRP can be traded again in the United States on, on exchanges. That would be fantastic. But otherwise, I just have to kind of stick with the things that I've seen on charts. And that's that we have the leaders. When the leaders are done, all that money flows out of there and heads somewhere else. And there's no doubt there's a lot of hype about XRP, and this price hasn't taken off yet. One of the other major coins in the cryptocurrency market is Ethereum. In yesterday's video, when we finished out the video, it was sitting just below the 702 retracement. Obviously, it made its way all the way up to the 786 retracement, and it actually even did close the candle above that price level for the day. So pretty, pretty exciting to see that happen over there on Ethereum. Even the total market cap of all of crypto, when we include all altcoins and we include Bitcoin, even though Bitcoin is lagging behind the altcoin market, Still, the whole cryptocurrency market cleared through the 786 Fibonacci retracement yesterday and closed the candle above there. But let's head back over to the total altcoin market cap and have a little discussion here, right? So why is it even a big deal that we get through all of these retracement levels? Does it mean that we're going to absolutely moon mission from this exact point? It's never pulling back. It's going to go in a straight line. No, it absolutely does not mean that. What it means is that there were not a ton of bots, there were not a ton of institutions, and there was not a large amount of selling pressure that happened right there that was able to reject the market. Historically, in markets, in cryptocurrencies, we see it happen all the time where retracement levels can be the places where the market gets completely rejected. So this is a celebration that those things didn't happen doesn't mean we won't consolidate, doesn't mean we won't pull back in here and spend weeks more doing stuff like this, just like we saw happen in the Dow Jones and that it spends more time up in there. That's completely possible. But what it means is that we didn't get rejected by the retracement levels. And that's a huge deal because historically we've seen it on the Bitcoin price chart so many times how perfect it reacts to Fibonacci retracements to completely reject a market. And that didn't happen. So that's the excitement of this event happening right here. And we've used lots of examples leading up to this moment of what this market has done in regards to big corrections that have happened. And in our IOTA example that we keep referring back to, you can see it did get above that 786 Fibonacci retracement. And still there was a ton of consolidation in here. But it provided that optimism that it wasn't going to get rejected right there at the retracement level and that we would flip back into a bear market again still did way more consolidation but there wasn't that big rejection in our xrp example that we've used from back in 2017 we can see what happened at these retracement levels as well got all the way up to the 786 still there was further consolidation before it finally did break out and go another thing for ethereum back in 2017 i'll never forget this this was terrible when this happened it just took forever you can see that Ethereum did recover all the way back up above retracement levels and still further consolidation continued. However, it did go on a full run and continued much higher afterwards once it was able to break out. But merely getting through all the retracement levels indicated that further consolidation was continuing and that it would eventually break out. But again, I stick to my bigger picture of what's happening in this market that I still think Bitcoin's going to set a new high. Still need to watch what it does at the final retracement levels, but that it will set a new high and that the total altcoin market cap has done a setup that we've been discussing for several months. The price is held where it held and we've had a v-bottom back up to the top so i'm optimistic and i'm happy that all those retracement levels did get cleared again doesn't mean it won't consolidate further 
but it also means it didn't get rejected by them. And as you guys know, those are the things that matter to me the most. Whether it's moving averages, Bollinger Bands, trend lines, all those things, none of those really matter to me. The things that always matter to me and my analysis is Fibonacci retracement levels. And if we can crack them and not get destroyed by them, that means that is a super fantastic thing for me. And I think the thing that has happened here in this cryptocurrency market over the last 24 hours by the total market cap, the total altcoin market cap, Ethereum, all these things really getting through those levels is that our statistical probabilities and odds just went way up that this market still has higher to go. And for that, I am very, very excited. So there's still a lot of work that this market still needs to do, but it has done what we've been looking for. The big crash, the double bounce, sideways, capitulation, doesn't set a new low, upwards, weeks of sideways consolidation, and a breakout. Just like XRP did, massive crash, two bounces, sideways, capitulation, doesn't set a new low, back to the retracement, lots of sideways, breakout. And hopefully, we're right on the cusp of the absolute excitement of the entire market. I'll take it if we have to consolidate further, but if this is it, if this is the moment, Things are about to get absolutely wild. And so I'm going to wrap this thing up. I'm going to keep this video a little bit shorter. I did a 23 minute video yesterday and then I did a over two hour live stream. And I want to thank you guys so much for coming out to that live stream. You guys were very generous. I sincerely appreciate it. I'll try to do more of those. <laughs> My wife, of course, after the live stream came up to me and talked about the barbecue thing, because if you weren't there, I did mention that my wife has been telling me that you should just do a live stream where you're just like barbecuing and hang out all day and do a live stream and cook a brisket or something. And I was like, I don't know, man. I do like doing that, but would people even care to watch that? And uh, overwhelming response of yes, please do that. So uh, she took a bow <laughs> because she knew she knew that. But we'll see. I'll have to work on that. I need to start getting my live stream stuff together and, and get better at doing this and more fluid with it. Because like I mentioned last month that I will be going on a vacation in October. So I brought that up in the live stream yesterday. I'm bringing that up again right now. I will be on vacation from October 9th through 23rd. So that's not this month, that's next month. But I just want to remind you guys that that is coming. And I do plan on doing some live streams while I'm on vacation on my road trip around the United States. So I just need to brush up on it a little bit. But I want to thank you guys so much for coming out to that live stream. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Of course, if you're looking for something to do, you can check out my website, bcbacker.com. This is my course where I deep dive into the previous Bitcoin bull runs and the different altcoin market cycles, tying them all together to show how the cryptocurrency market has worked in the past in regards to Bitcoin going and then the altcoins going. I talk about my personal exit plans in here and I teach a lot about mathematics and percentages and why those things are so important. And I teach you how to set up your own charts and your own indicators within TradingView and CoinTrader Pro. I did also recently add a market update just two days ago over here on August 31st. You could check that out over here and check out all this educational content on bcbacker.com. You can follow me over here on Twitter at BC Backer. And of course, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel and supporting me. I sincerely appreciate it. All right, let's wrap this thing up. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you could, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I create new content and when I go live. <laughs> As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor. But if you ever need a pick-me-up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.